Hi friends, my name is Heather. Thank you for clicking on my video today. I will be doing a collaboration video with my friends Mrs. Gigi and Sylvia D today. And it is called Hashtag Thursday Crafty Friends. And each week we take a prompt or a word or we all use the same item and we do something creative. So this week the word is rainbow. So today my husband and I actually went out and we went shopping, which we do not hardly ever do. <laughs> and I actually order most of my groceries and have them delivered to my home. And um, But we went to Goodwill today and I found a four piece set of these tile coasters with the cork board type back here. And they've all got um, snowflakes on them. But I thought that I would maybe try to paint one of these coasters and do something different using the word rainbow. So maybe painting a rainbow or using rainbow colors or something. So I've already painted over it with this blue and let it dry so that, you know, we don't have that. Thought it would be fun to have like personalized coasters. Some of us in the family, like my kids might want to paint some. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I thought it would be fun to decorate a coaster. And I do have some kind of a sealant spray I can spray on top later after, you know, I'm done and it's dry and everything. And um, anyway, so let's get started. We went to Goodwill, like I said, and I found some really cute things there. And then we went to Dollar Tree, which is another one of my very favorite stores. And we also went to, um, you can see I've been messing around with this already. Um, we went to Michael's and found a few good deals over there too. So we had a good day. We actually went to a Chinese buffet restaurant which we have not done for a very very well since the whole pandemic thing I haven't been there so that was nice spending the day with my husband so I guess I know this painting a rainbow sounds really easy but for me it's probably not going to be and we're going to try it and if it doesn't work if it starts looking silly, I might just use rainbow colors to paint on here. So we'll see. Let's let's start it and see if I can even paint a rainbow without it looking weird. And I need to make sure that I leave room for all the colors. So there's red. And if this doesn't work out, I might just use the rainbow co colors from the rainbow and do like a little, see there's paint coming up right here. Oh my goodness. Um, I might do just rainbow colors and, you know, use some stencils or stencils. Can't talk as usual or something. So we got some red there. I might try to let that dry and go back over it in a little bit. So there's red. I still remember learning the whole Roy G. Biv to remember the colors of the rainbow in order when I was in school. And if you live in the U.S., you probably learned that too, but I don't know if they teach that anywhere else. I'd be interested to know if you're from somewhere else like Sweden or uh, France or England, if you learned the whole Roy G. Biv to remember the rainbow colors in order. Be interested to know if you learned that. So Sylvia or Mrs. Gigi, Janet, any of you, please let me know in the comments if you learned the Roy G. Biv to remember rainbow colors. So, see, like painting a rainbow, you would think that would be easy, but not for me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See, there's, I, I know this was dry, and there's, like, some paint coming up. So, I might have to, I don't know.
I might have to like try to let it dry and go back over it after I've done it. I'm not sure. Okay. It was sweet of my husband when we were in Michael's. We had just went in and I went to an aisle and was looking at something and he disappeared. He came back a few minutes later with me a new heat tool because mine recently quit and he went and got me a new one. So I thought that was really sweet of him. He knew I was going to say, no, I don't want to buy that right now, but that's why he went and just bought it, brought it to me. So I got a new heat tool today, so that's good. Mine had... Mine was pretty old and just quit quit working <laughs> recently. So I've been using a hair dryer, which was fine. No big deal. It worked. Maybe I should have tried to not touch the colors. But it's just kind of a little space and I don't have any tiny brushes. I need to get some paint brushes for sure. Okay, so we got ROY, so now we need the green. So we'll put some green on here. I got a, found a bunch of really cute things today, like found some really good deals, some cute stuff at Goodwill. I might do a haul video soon if I get a chance. I got, let me think what I got there. I got a couple little things that I could maybe use with crafts, but I got some other things. Yes, I found some owls <laughs> that aren't actually crafty things, but they're really cute. So you all tell me, would you be interested in seeing some of the things that I got, even if it's not crafty items? Just curious. Because I found some other cute little things today. But I want to... Uh, you know, do videos that you all think is interesting. So if you don't want to see things that's not crafty, I understand, and I won't do that. All right, so Roy G, now we need blue. Maybe I can use this as a painting paper later. I don't know. We'll see. It's actually like a something I got from Amazon, like a package. Um, got something from Amazon in this package, so kind of a nice little, I like the crinkle. <laughs> All right, G, so B, I've got a blue, a bluish color here. I needed to use a different blue than what I did for the background, so it's kind of a maybe a turquoise-ish color. It's a handmade coaster, one of a kind, so it doesn't have to be perfect, I guess. I need to just realize not everything I do is, you know, going to be perfect. There's going to be mess ups and things that I don't love about my projects, but just need to accept it, right? It's sometimes I think I get a little bit too hard on myself. I know I'm sure you all do that too. 
sometimes where you're like, oh man, I don't like that at all. <laughs> and then other people see it and they like it. So I think we're our own bet, own worst critics. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Own worst critics. Okay, so I kind of got some blue on here. Like I said, maybe after it dries a little bit, I'll go back over it. All right, we'll put this down. All right, now we need like an indigo, which I'm going to call this my indigo. It's like a darkish bluish. And I wipe some of that off where I touched the other other color there. If it turns out really ugly, I'll just have it out and people maybe think one of my kids did it or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They would probably do much better. <laughs> okay, so we've got an indigo-ish color, what I'm going to call my indigo anyway. Now we need a violet. I think this might be some pretty painting paper if I rip it out later, possibly. I like those colors together right there. That dark blue and the teal and the purple. Sometimes you play around with your arts and crafts and see like color combos that you think would be fun to use in future projects. I think that would be nice together. Today at Michael's, as I was getting ready to leave there, I found that they had uh, ribbon scrap bags. So there's a bunch of different ribbons in a bag and they were only like $1.99 and they were so cool. I had never seen those there before so I'll try to remember to show you in a minute. Maybe I should have just draw, drawn a rainbow with markers. That probably would have been a lot easier than this for me. It's kind of fun making marks on the paper though. try to wipe some of that excess off but now some of the paint is coming off there 
That looks pretty sloppy, but maybe I, after it dries, I can go back over them another time and maybe it'll look better. So that's what we're going to try to do is once it dries, I'm going to try to go back over it again. All right, so I will be back. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and I will be, oh wait. I'll be back in just a moment, but first, let me show you the scrap packs. So it came in a bag like this, and there's just all kinds of ribbons in there. And I did open one. I don't want to get paint on it, but look. It's all different colors and kinds. I thought it was so much fun. <laughs> so I just had to get a couple of those. Thought those would be fun. So, okay, I'm going to let this dry and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, it's drier. It's not probably not all the way dry. And I was thinking I forgot to mention that I'm recording this on Wednesday night. So, that's how my husband and I went to the store already today. Okay, so I'm going to get this red, which get a little bit of red on here. Try to go over that a little. I'm hoping after I put another layer on it, it'll look a little better. Alright, so there's another little layer of red there. over some of that. Oops. Alright, so a little more orange. It's looking a little clumpy, but that's okay. I think I'll end up being all right. I might put a little bit more red right here where I kind of went over the line. some yellow.
All right, there's some yellow. I need to go back with some more yellow right there because keep going back over my own lines. Okay. Got some more green there. Now I can use a little bit more green right here. Add some blue. Pretending is indigo. I'm not even sure. I think indigo is like purplish blue, right? So this is what I'm using for my indigo. Okay. And last we got violet, which that one there is real messy right here, so wonder if I should paint some more, try to paint some more blue over where it looked messy. Give it more of a, where you can see the, you know, the middle of the rainbow. And friends, I am no professional at painting. I haven't even been really trying to paint for very long <laughs> since like last year. So I'm kind of new at all this. Gotta, gotta just jump in and do it to get better at it, right? So I'm trying. Okay. 
So, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's okay, I think. Could be worse. I think I am going to try to add just a little red up here. Right up here where I kind of majorly went out of the line with the orange. Now I went over the red line, so real quick, let me add a little bit more orange right here. So like I said, Mrs. Gigi and Sylvia's channels will be linked down below. Please go and see what they did with this rainbow theme or the word rainbow this week. I'm sure it'll be something amazing. Okay. I want to thank you all again for watching my video. I appreciate it very much. I'll be back with another video tomorrow. At least one. Okay, I think I'm going to call it good because if I keep messing with it, I'll just probably end up messing it up all together. Okay, there's my rainbow. And actually, I may add the verse Genesis 9.13 to this up here later on after it's dry and that verse is I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth so I might add that Genesis 9 13 up here after it's dry and here is my rainbow it's not perfect but I think it's cute it'll do <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon. Bye.